I was in the studio and not really needing to let anybody in, you know, so it was really just sort of between me and the art. And, and I really believe in, in figuring out a way to make sure that that happens in the studio, that it, that your practice really is between sort of you and the art. It's, okay, my name is June Edmonds and I'm a painter uh, of abstract uh, style or whatever, but I'm an abstract painter. And uh, I love working with color and the space and with rhythm and movement. And I've always loved sort of abstract qualities of, of figurative work. You know, I started with figurative work and, you know, probably was more concerned about color and, and uh, creating space and interesting compositions. And, and at one point, I just sort of removed everything from the art, removed the color and removed uh, paint and just started doing these drawings uh, that had nothing to do with anything except for the line and the, sh and the shape and the form and, and the composition. And so uh, since then, I went back and forth for a little while, and a little over a decade ago, I committed all the way to, uh, to abstract art. They, uh, the paintings were painted at different times. Well, the larger painting, which is called Blue Apart, that was done in, I think, 2011. And then the other ones, Aquatic Pastoral and Royal Roof, they were done in, in 2016 or 17, I don't remember. But what, what they have, they have some things in common. And that is basically when I started painting, I have an idea of the palette that I want to use. And in uh, Blue Apart, which is the first one that was done in 2011, I, I went in knowing I wanted to use the colors blue and green and uh, blue and green. You know, every now and then I'll do a painting with blue and green because I, I love Miles Davis and I just want some blue and green blue. You know what I mean? I just want some a series of blue and green paintings, you know, like I, I have a portrait of a young person, you know, that I did maybe 20, 30 years ago that's blue and green. But, but that is, is where uh, the idea for the very first one blew apart came from. And it's not titled Blue and Green. Sorry, I have a painting called Blue and Green. <laughs> and uh, the last two actually were uh, done together, you know, and, uh, and purposely monochromatic in blue. And they happen to be inspired by music as well. And, and so aquatic pastoral, you know, is actually, you know, every now and then I'm in my classical phase, you know, and so I was just listening to a Beethoven pastoral and, and that's what that was. But, you know, I listened to jazz like a whole lot more. And, uh, and I, and I like classic jazz and there was a, a club in New York uh, in the 40s and 50s called Royal Royal Roost. So that painting is named after that club. Uh, you know, it's it's always a, a privilege to hear what guests do take away from the art. And, and I would sort of rather hear that. You know, you had a story for me. Like I would <laughs> I would rather hear that than to say. I want you to take this away. Like I learn about the work, I learn about art in general when when I when I hear stories. So, you know, I I kind of know what it's like for me, you know, when I'm creating it or or you know just you know I do sort of the brush strokes and and especially like in the pieces that are at Esmoa. And so they are really kind of like this meditation I in, in front of the painting for a long time. So I, I understand that people's experience in front of the painting is going to be different, 
You know what I mean? They're not going to be standing in front of it, of course, as long as long as the artist is working on it. So, so I do want the work to get them in touch with something in themselves, you know, like I want them to engage with the work, but I, I want them to remind them of something that's really powerful and beautiful about themselves as well. You know, I, I, feel great you know when and if that happens 